Well, um, we've now come to the conclusion of our ceremony. We're going to ask you to allow the platform party to exit first, and then the graduates, and we'll all meet outside and take a picture. Um, well, I guess we'll gather over on the steps to take that picture. You've seen pictures of other classes there, and now it's your turn. Then we're going to have brunch in the Coolidge Room in Blue Hall, which is the oldest hall on campus and houses the offices of the president and the provost and other members of the senior leadership of the university. As David told you in the first residency, I quote from Churchill. And he said, never, never, never give up. In the mid-year residency, I quote from Elizabeth. She didn't say it, but she lived it. Revise, revise, revise. Now as you leave us, I'd like to turn to the very inspirational words of Nelson Mandela, the very last leader we studied. And if you remember the poem by Ernest, William Ernest Henley, that guided Mandela through all those years in captivity in, um, on Robbins Island. He said, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. So I implore you to lead quietly, to lead carefully, but to lead well. Do good wherever and whenever and however you can. Perhaps most importantly, do as little harm as you can. Respect others, lead for others, and not for yourself. As we know too, too well from the past few months and the events of the past few weeks, Ours is a very small and fragile and complicated and often misguided planet. We must take care of it and all of its inhabitants. So I thank you and I look forward, we all look forward to celebrating with you.